Today we are gonna do a comparison between the Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max and the Shemley Wet Dry Vacuum. Both of these products have similar prices. So let's go ahead and take a look how they differ from each other. It seems like both of these products are similar in height and all the buttons are easily accessible and in the front to where you can easily access them just with your thumb. Looking at the body, the Bissell Cosswave has a wider body than the Shenley wet dry vacuum, where the Bissell is actually heavier than the Shenley wet dry vacuum. Couple things that the Bissell come with are the cleaning solutions, and it also does come with a extra rolling brush, and it comes with a cleaning brush. But for our Shenley, it doesn't really come with the cleaning product. It does come with a cleaning brush and it doesn't come with the extra roller. But if you want those things, you can purchase them separately on their website. Both of these products feature a LED screen and the LED screen features battery percentage level. You have your Wi-Fi icon on the Bissell, but we also have the voice prompt icon, the self-cleaning icon, clean water, dirty water tank icons, and the Shenley WashVac Pro actually does a better job keeping you updated through the entire process. So that way you know when your dirty water tank is running high, you will also know when your clean water tank is running low and when you need to clean everything out or fill up more water or solution. Where the Bissell Crosswave Pro does not have all the extra features that our Shenley product is featuring. Shenley's thinner body and the ergonomics design definitely gives the Shenley wet dry vacuum an edge when it comes to look over the Bissell Crosswave Pro. Both of these products does feature a dirty water tank in the front and they're easily removable. But if you look at the size difference, the Shenley wet dry vacuum can hold more water in the dirty water tank than the Bissell's dirty water tank. And you can just look at the fill line and the size of it. Another thing that I noticed was Shenley's dirty water tank is more secure. So when you flip it over, there's no way of the water spilling or the top falling apart. But if you look at the Bissell's and I just do this, everything just comes out and falls. So there's a higher chance that you will get water spillage with the Bissell. Both of these products also does feature a removable HEPA filter. And installing both of the dirty water tank is fairly easy. Both of these products also have their clean water tank on the back. And for our Shenley, it's the same exact way you remove the dirty water tank with the press of a single button. And we have a max fill line of 27 ounces, which is quite a bit. So you don't have to go back and forth to your sink to fill up more water. And it's very easy to install. For our Crosswave, you can see the size of our water tank here. And it definitely does not have 27 ounces of clean water tank capacity. Just, you can see from the size of it. And we also have the water lines and the levels here and you can see that you can really have a lot of water that can fit into this water tank versus the Shenley's water tank. And I also do find it kind of weird to have the clean water tank dispenser at the bottom so when you're installing it you also have to flip it which I am not comfortable with that because I feel like some water can spill as you're flipping it over and trying to put it in. The Shanley product also features a speaker and that is loud enough to where it can keep you updated throughout your cleaning, but the Bissell does not offer a speaker. And it is also very easy to deassemble the handle from the Shanley versus the Bissell because the Bissell you have to go under and above with the screwdriver where the Shanley product is right over here where you can actually detach. And there's one thing that I absolutely hate about the Bissell Crosswave is that you can see this button right over here. You actually have to press and hold that button in order for any water to dispense from the vacuum, where for our Shenley, we don't have to press and hold a button for any water to dispense. We can dispense as much water as we want, 
plus some more water if we need be just with the press of a button and we also have a suction mode where if you have a lot of water your wash bag can suck up all that water very very easily and can leave you with the floor with no streaks both of the wash bags does have the self-cleaning function and one thing that i really like about the shenley is that it also has a air vent over here in our base which actually helps you to dry out your rolling brush so that way your rolling brush is not going to stay wet and smell bad later on which the Bissell actually does not offer that self dry cleaning one thing that I noticed right before you go to start cleaning you obviously have to pull your handles back and when I do this with the Bissell you can hear a very loud noise So that makes it sound like something is breaking or cracking. So if you look at the Shenley, it is absolutely quiet and doesn't make any noise. As I mentioned earlier, the Bissell has a button where you have to press and hold it in order for it to dispense any water from the clean water tank while you are cleaning your floor. So that is something I don't like. So let's pull it back and start doing some cleaning. First thing you can see is that we have our LED screen and we have the two buttons and this one only has two modes where the Shenley has three different modes that you can choose from. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this Bissell on and then look at some features and see how well it does with cleaning our floor and compared with our Shenley wash vac. Press the power button. So now you can see that I don't have any water coming out. But once I press the button over here, you will see the light come on and it will actually dispense water. As you can see. As I was cleaning up with the Bissell, one thing that I have noticed is that it is not self-propelled to where it can guide you to do your cleaning on the floor. And you're constantly having that feeling of dragging back and forth. And this one, it feels like it's not on the wheels really, and it is dragging on the floor to where it is going to scratch up my hardwood floor. But it does have a body that you can swivel side to side or back and forth. The self-propelled function is very noticeable when you go into cleaning the edges. So areas like underneath your cabinets where it's hard to get to, if you don't have the self-propelled function with your wash vac, it is very hard to go ahead and clean everything because it is not guiding you all the way through. Not only is the Bissell heavy, but not having the self-propelling makes it harder to clean your floor, unlike the Shenley wash vac. Now we are going to go ahead and see how well the crosswave does with the spill that we have on our floor and also picking up the flour. So I'm going to turn it on and press and hold the button. And just from using this, one thing that I notice is that I still have flour in between the creases of my hardwood floor. And that does kind of bother me and I want to make sure that I get it all out. As you can see from here, the Bissell has done a good job picking up the milk. But as I lifted up the Bissell, I see that there is still leftover milk on the floor. Once we turn it on, you can see that our LED display comes up right away with the battery level. We have uh, three different modes over here. We have the smart mode, we have the suction mode, and we have the sanitizing mode. So as soon as you turn on the vacuum, you can see that the water starts dispensing right away and you don't have to press and hold a button like you do with the Bissell. It also seems like Shenley dispenses the right amount of water as it's cleaning. I have now changed the mode to suction only mode. So you can see that we have some water on the floor and with the suction only mode, it actually sucks up all the water, leaving you a streak free floor. Given the fact that we have the self-propelling feature with the Shenley wash vac, you can actually clean your floors a lot faster. So you can clean 2200 square feet of area just within 35 to 40 minutes. 
Shenley's design is also built for edge cleaning and the self-propelling makes it very easy to clean your edges alongside the baseboard. This Shenley product is also a lot lighter than the Bissell wash vac. Our Shenley wash vac also features a smart mess detection that helps it to detect any mess in front of it to where it can adjust the speed without you having to slow down and the Bissell wash vac does not have this feature. You can see that we are not slowing down here and the Shenley is doing a fantastic job picking up all the flour and the milk without leaving any residue on the floor. But the Bissell product was not able to pick up all the flour or the milk. With the Shenley you can dispense more water as needed and it actually uses electrolyte water to clean and remove stains easily. So if you're in the market looking for a wash vac for your home, then I hope this review video will help you make a decision as to which one you're looking for. I personally would go with the Shenley product because of the ease of its use and all the different features and functions that we have over the Bissell product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and we will see you guys next time.